Thank you for joining us to discuss VIA's comprehensive operations analysis. We appreciate the time you're taking and making your investment in public transportation for the greater San Antonio region. The Comprehensive Operations Analysis, or COA, is a detailed look at current market conditions, service performance, and operations of the existing VIA network. At its heart, the COA has a goal to establish a five-year blueprint for transit in the greater San Antonio region, including improving our current network, maximizing ridership, and ensuring that we are optimizing the use of available resources to provide public transportation. When we look across the industry, we know best practices call for evaluating past trends to help ensure future success. We want to ensure that the existing service offered by VIA is aligned with the agency vision, goals, and objectives. The Comprehensive Operations Analysis is an opportunity to identify strategies to help improve ridership, the customer experience, cost effectiveness, and service reliability. For this Comprehensive Operations Analysis, VIA has established the objectives seen on the screen. These include retaining existing riders while attracting new transit riders. Establish a framework for making decisions about existing and future transit service. Develop recommendations to strengthen the existing VIA transit network. And explore innovative, non-fixed route or alternative services to complement the fixed route network. The Comprehensive Operation Analysis includes three distinct interconnected phases. First, Data Collection and Evaluation. This phase started in May of 2016 and includes the public meetings being held in August and September of 2016 to discuss existing conditions within the VIA service network. Information gathered during this phase will help influence creation of service plan alternatives. From September through December of 2016, multiple scenarios will be examined and considered as we look to develop the short-term service plan. In February of 2017, the draft short-term service plan will come back to the community in a series of public meetings, again for public comment. We anticipate the Comprehensive Operations Analysis will be done by April of 2017. Through this entire process, we will have proactive, ongoing community engagement. We need to hear from you, and we appreciate the time you're taking to be part of this ongoing effort. As part of a COA, or Comprehensive Operations Analysis, we look at the existing data and trends that are available to the agency. We know, for example, that the annual ridership on the VIA system has fluctuated over time. In the last five years, ridership has been banded between approximately 40 to 46 million annual boardings. As part of the comprehensive operations analysis, we'll be identifying cost-effective strategies to help increase ridership throughout the service area. The Comprehensive Operations Analysis will also include a look at existing conditions, including market and service network design. Within market conditions, we'll be looking at where people live, where people are working, changes in demographics that may be occurring within our community, and changes in travel patterns. Within the service network design, we'll be looking at how riders use the existing VIA services the network connectivity of the routes within the existing service area, how the service operates, and how the service performs. This information will be used to help us then develop service plan alternatives. These alternatives include choices that will be the basis of different scenarios, including coverage. Currently, VIA covers 1,213 square miles of Bear County. As part of this analysis, we may look at fewer areas served with more frequent service, leading to shorter waits 
and longer extended hours of service, or serving a larger area with less frequent service, potentially longer waits, and potentially shorter hours of service. We'll be examining the directness of routes, possibly more direct and faster routes with few deviations off of main corridors, or less direct and slower service with more deviations off main corridors. We'll also be looking at service spacing. Do we have frequent and faster service, potentially with longer walks between stops, or less frequent and slower service with shorter walks in between stops? The choices on this screen are merely examples of some of the detail that will be examined as part of the comprehensive operations analysis. This information will be used to help develop the short-term service plan, which will be presented to the community in February of 2017. As part of the comprehensive operations analysis, we will be developing service alternatives. These alternatives will have a focus on improving public mobility within the greater San Antonio region, and will include an examination on ways to increase ridership to enhance and improve the customer experience, to enhance access to key destinations across the region, ways to improve and enhance transit service levels and network connectivity, to explore cost effectiveness, to look at ways to enhance and improve service reliability, and to optimize use of available resources to provide public transportation. The service alternatives plans will ensure that our plan, ultimately adopted, is financially sustainable. And the plan itself will be developed through a collaborative process with stakeholders and our community. The short-term transit service plan, the final plan to be developed out of the comprehensive operations analysis, will include multiple facets, a service and operating plan, a capital facilities plan, a fleet plan, scheduling analysis will be undertaken, a financial plan will be developed, and ultimately an implementation plan and the framework will be provided to ensure that the recommendations developed by the comprehensive operations analysis and influenced by our community can indeed be achieved. The key to having a successful comprehensive operations analysis and the development of the short-term transit plan is our community. Key stakeholders will be engaged throughout this entire process, including our community and riders, public and private sector partners, advisory panels and committees, elected and appointed officials, and VIA employees. With providing service to 42.2 million passenger trips in 2015, we recognize the role we play in our community and the role our community plays in helping ensure our public transportation system serves the needs of our region. We will have multiple public engagement activities aside from these public meetings, including interviews and focus groups with key stakeholders. The VIA Board of Trustees will receive regular briefings and workshops as part of the Comprehensive Operations Analysis. We will be doing pop-up meetings at transit centers throughout our system, and of course, public open houses. You will also be able to keep up to date with the ongoing steps being taken in the Comprehensive Operations Analysis through our project website. On the website, you will also be able to sign up for eBlast, electronic notices about the status of the project and be informed of public meetings that are coming up. You will see advertisements and newsletters. You will also see an increased presence on our social media pages, Facebook and Twitter, for example, promoting the comprehensive operations analysis and ways your comments and your voice can be heard as part of this process. We thank you for taking the time to be informed on the comprehensive operations analysis being undertaken by VIA. We invite you to join us in February of 2017 for the next phase of public involvement to discuss the draft 
service plan recommendations. In the meantime, please visit our website, viainfo.net, to stay up to date on the comprehensive operations analysis, to sign up for email alerts, and to check our calendar of events for upcoming meetings and transit pop-ups. And if you have an idea or comment that you would like us to consider as part of this study, please email us at gcr at viainfo.net or call us at 210-362-2389. On behalf of Via Metropolitan Transit, we thank you for your time and look forward to your participation in the Comprehensive Operations Analysis.